Welcome to the University of Florida College of Medicine Ultrasound Module. This is Renal Pathology Module Number 5. In this module you will learn how to evaluate for the presence of hydronephrosis, for the presence of nephrolithiasis, and you will learn to identify some other abnormalities within the kidneys. So during our bedside ultrasound exam we have the four C's. The first C stands for contour, and it basically means we're going to measure that kidney. This is 9 by 9 to 13 would be normal. Transverse view, we're seeing 3 by 5. Contrast talks about echogenicity, which areas are hypoechoic versus hyperechoic. We talked about that earlier. We looked at the collecting system, make sure there's no dilatation there. And last, we talk about contralateral comparison. You want to check both kidneys. You can identify hydronephrosis using ultrasound, and there are several degrees uh, from mild to moderate to severe. Mild and moderate, uh, a little bit more subjective, but uh, when you get to the severe type, you definitely see uh, a very obvious dilatation and some cortical thinning. This image shows a coronal view of a kidney and you can see the collecting system. You see no dilatations there. It's hyperechoic. This is a normal view of a kidney. Now let's sweep through this view here and as you can see there is a dilatation uh, within the collecting system of that kidney. It's anechoic. It's dilated. If we freeze the image you can see that there's definitely uh, dilatation of the renal pelvis. This is moderate hydronephrosis. In this case, as we scan, we can see uh, an even more obvious dilatation there of the renal pelvis extending into the uh, medullary pyramids, and you're going to be able to see that the cortex around is thin, so we're going to call this severe hydronephrosis. And now, as we scan the bladder in the transverse plane, we notice that there's only a urethral jet on the left side and nothing on the right side. So that is uh, definitely a sign that there is a blockage within the right ureter. Nephrolithiasis. We are unable to see stones that are within the ureters, but within the kidneys, we will be able to identify stones. In this case, you'll see the kidney here with the cortex, and you have two uh, hyperechoic structures there in the middle. You know that they're stones because you have a, an artifact. In this case, you have a shadow behind the stones. That's a clean shadow signifying the presence of a stone. In this case, you are able to see there's a little bit of hydronephrosis, a stone there with a shadow behind it. Let's talk about some other pathologies that are visualized in ultrasound. And renal cysts, they're normally, you think of them ben as benign. They're anechoic, they're well-defined, they're single or sometimes multiple, like in the cases of polycystic kidney disease, and they usually do not distort the anatomy. Here you can see the liver with the kidney and the cyst as a well circumscribed area. Same uh, situation here on the right side, you have that cyst. Renal failure. In the cases of acute versus chronic, um, acute, normally there's no change in renal size. You can have definitely uh, kidneys that are normal in their dimensions. Although chronic, they tend to be atrophic and smaller. If you compare these two images on the left side, you have the left kidney and then the right kidney. The left kidney measures about 10 centimeters, which is a normal measurement. And on the right side, it measures about seven centimeters, which is definitely smaller. There's atrophy. You need to compare both sides. So today we've discussed the ultrasound findings of hydronephrosis. We saw some renal stones and we discussed renal cysts, 
and some chronic kidney disease visualized by ultrasound. 